Hello, mini nukes, and welcome back to Red vs. Blue Season 8, Episode 7. In the last episode, we got to see some animation in the show for the first time, which I am very, very excited about to see more of, because it's awesome, and sweet, and badass, and loads of other adjectives that I can't think of right now. <laughs> so Wash and the meta are making things very difficult for our red and blue friends, but hopefully things will turn out okay. We're gonna find out what happens in the next few episodes and whatever happens at the end of season eight. I don't know, but I'm very excited. We're probably gonna get to watch my favorite episode ever in this React episode, so I'm excited. <laughs> I hope you guys are too. <laughs> Come on, can't you get him out of there? He's just stuck in a few rocks. Why can't anything ever be easy? Doc, I want you to tell me everything you know about the reds and blues. You know more than me! I just got here! Hit him. Oh! You worked with them before. Do they have any hideouts anywhere they go when they're in trouble? I don't know! Hit him again. Oh! Did Simmons say where Sergeant Griff were? You can either answer me, or I can have the meta beat it out of you. Or, I can beat it out of you. I think I've earned it. Man, you guys are really awful at the good cop, bad cop thing. You're like, bad cop, even worse cop. Tell you what, Meta. Let's just shoot him in the chest, see if we can pull the audio logs out of his helmet. Uh, uh, he said something about a distress call. Hit him again. And sand! He, he mentioned sand. Sand. All right, well, let's go then. I actually thought it would take longer to convince you. Come on. I want to get to the facility before nightfall. Facility, eh? I knew the blues were up to something. Come on, men, let's get after those blues! Sounds like this is the big opportunity we've been waiting for! You mean our opportunity to find a place to hole up until this all blows over? Some place that isn't a desert? No! A place to finally restore the blues to Command's database! Get your typing fingers ready, Simmons! <sighs> okay, I'll bring my carpal tunnel braces. If we're going to follow them, we'll need a vehicle. Well, I'm sure we can grab another one from the camp down there. Why do we need a vehicle? The blues are walking! I'm sure we can keep up with them on foot. On foot? Uh, Simmons? We're the Reds. We don't walk anywhere. We travel as the good Lord intended, in the largest possible vehicle with the maximum horsepower allowed by local law enforcement. And if there's no cars available, we find the biggest, nastiest, meanest land animal we possibly can, beat the crap out of it, and settle that puppy up. On foot. Shame on you, Simmons. Shame on you. Sorry. Let's just forget you ever mentioned it. I think this should go on his permanent record. Oh, just go get the fucking Jeep, jackass. Oh yeah, Taka. Hey! Where are you guys going? Wait! Ah, damn it! Hey guys, listen. I know you want a super cool piece of technology back. Those guys just took off. Probably to look for it. If you let me go, I can track it down for you and bring it back. No? Okay then, forget it. Oh my god, look! A next-gen smartphone! Can we just leave that land around? <laughs> they love that technology. Oh, by the old prototype trick. It's gonna run out of gas. Classic. Well, see you, bitches. I'm out of here. What the? Out of gas? Hey, uh, you guys have any gas? You know what? Fuck it. I'm just gonna run. <laughs> All right. I think this is it. Yes? This doesn't look like anything. Yeah. It's not supposed to. That's kind of the idea. Come on. This way. Man. You really need to clean this place up. Caboose! Coming! Come on. Oh yeah, here we go. It's this way. Am I this way or you're this way? There is no... It's the same this way. Okay, yeah. This is it. I think. It's a wall. We came all this way for a wall? Caboose! Sorry. It's a really great wall. Hello. This is a private facility. Visitors are not welcome. Please leave immediately, or we will be forced to take lethal measures to ensure the safety of our property. That is great. You have 30 seconds to comply or die. Have a nice day. Sheila? Is that you? No. I am the Freelancer Integrated Logistics and Security System. You may call me Phyllis. It is a pleasure to meet you. You now have 15 seconds to live. Whoa. Dying sounds like a bad idea. Maybe we should leave. Oh my, the director. I am so sorry. I did not recognize you, sir. It has been such a long time since you have visited. You look very different. Talking to me? Yes. You 
are the director of Project Freelancer, are you not? Oh, uh, yeah. Of course, that's totally me. <laughs> I just haven't been around because I've been doing, you know, director stuff. Can't really get into it. And thanks. Secret project. How may I assist you today? Can we, uh, can we come in? Certainly. Please watch your step. Kind of spooky in there. Yeah. Why don't you go first? Me? Well, I mean, you're the one with the gun and everything. Yeah, but the tree seemed like you best. Uh, hey, Sheila, could you... Are you speaking to me? We're just kind of used to calling you by that name. Um, maybe you should just answer him when he calls you that. Probably easier for you to change than it is for him. He's kind of dumb. All right. I will respond to that name as well. You are the director, after all. Right. I am. Even though it's not Sheila, it's nice to have someone who sounds like Sheila. It's, it's nice to have them back, basically. Also, I'm sorry if the camera goes out of focus on me every now and then, but obviously I have to move it a little more to one side so that I'm on this side so I can fit the episode right here. So it it's not focusing in the in the corner it's focusing more on the center so it, it goes out of focus and i'm sorry um I, I don't know how to fix that but yeah that's why you might see me looking at it every now and then or moving around just so i can get the focus to go back on me so yeah also i find it hilarious how the reds deleting all records of the blues seemed like a joke to begin with but it actually has some relevance in the story and it, it's causing problems and complications for for some of the people in the show, which I, I think is hilarious. Please watch your step. Director, since you have a new visitor with you today, would you like me to run the tutorial program? Yes, always run that. No, seriously, you need to run that. No, it's really, you need to, you need to turn that. Yeah, okay, shut up, dude. Yes, please run the tutorial program. Oh, thank God. Hello, and welcome to the Freelancer Off-Site Storage Facility. Project Freelancer is a state-of-the-art scientific endeavor with one goal in mind, to ensure the security of humanity in a harsh and violent galaxy. This bunker has been constructed to guarantee the continued operations of our program in the event of a primary facility loss. This storage area archives all the components of our freelancer simulation bases. These outposts test our agents in realistic training scenarios. Yeah, we're on the blue team! I am sorry, I do not recognize that term. Our simulation outposts are categorized into red and entry, missing. Hmm, it seems as though I have a corrupted database. I will correct that when I have more time. Uh, uh, there's our old stuff. There's a teleporter. Eh, yeah, Tucker hates those. Don't interrupt. When the equipment is not being Come on. used, it this is way. stored here until it can be repurposed for... Oh, I guess we are moving on. Spoopy. <laughs> hey, what's this? I am sorry. This area is restricted. Only the director himself may access the sentry. I am sure you understand. The nature of our experiments is such that... Open it. Excuse me, Director? I want you to open it. Are you certain, Director? You never bring visitors into this. I said, open it. All right. Unlocking. Would you like me to archive your... personal project? No. Let's see everything. If you say so, Director. <laughs> Women, what's the status report? Gumball McJones and Caboose just went into that door. What door? All I see is a wall. It's a secret door? Simmons, what did I tell you about using Dungeons and Dragons references in combat situations? <sighs> Sorry, sir. It's a concealed door. That's better. How did they open it? They talked to that computer. They got it to open the door by posing as members of Project Freelancer. If we pose as agents, it'll probably let us in too. Aren't agents like tough and good at things? We all just pick a state name and call ourselves by that. You know, like Agent Washington. Griff, name a state. What is this, a pop quiz? Uh, let's see, uh, Manhattan. No? Uh, Europe. 
Wow. Really? Is it a Goshen? Stop guessing. Just be Agent Alaska. How about you, Sarge? I'll be Secret Agent Double Ohio. License to be tall in the middle and round on both ends. And I'll be Agent Denial. You get it? Because I state of denial, like the saying, you know? It's like, uh, I was, you know, the whole state, state thing, you know, it's a joke. No, dude. Jokes are funny. <sighs> Let's just go. The recovery beacon leads here. It's weak, but I can still pick it up. Here. Meta, dig. Hey, I'm not gonna argue with you about this. You want a chance at that AI? I track, you dig. Otherwise, you can wander the desert by yourself and see if you find him on your own. Because I found this signal. You dig. We all have to pull our own weight. Right. And other people's weight, too. Just dig. Man, some people just can't take orders. Am I right? Shut up. We're not friends. Can I at least get a drink of water? Shut up. I already asked you if you were thirsty before we left. Yeah, we're in the desert! Thirsty should be assumed! You can drink later. Yeah, this might be a bad time to tell you that I'm sinking, then. I hate you. I know. Hey, what are you, what are you guys doing over there? Oh, boy. What the, is that CT? That's impossible. What's she doing out here? What are you looking at? Don't bother. She didn't get an AI, remember? Down in front! Scavenger for equipment. See what you can... She? Find. Well, this is just fucking great. <laughs> Wait, she? Eh? Oh my god! Look at all the youth! <laughs> You're everywhere! What is this? I got that French door! <laughs> this is the greatest door ever! Oh. You can have your body back! Oh, which one do you want? I'm gonna buy one. <laughs> I'm not looking for that. Kaboo, stop being cute. I'm looking <laughs> for this. Oh. So wait. CT. The, the helmet that was in the, uh, in the sand. So does that mean that the the guy who is, I I guess he's posing as her, killed her and and poses her or something? I don't know. I don't get that. And the name CT is kind of vague, but if I think about it, you know, freelancer program and everything, um, isn't the 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 abbreviation? I think it's. Is it abbreviation? An, an abbreviation? You know that all the states have, have um, two letters? CT would be short for Connecticut, right? Right? Am I, am I getting that right? <laughs> so, then that would make them a freelancer. But he said that's a she. And I thought the, I thought the, the guy was, was that person. Maybe I'm missing some things. Don't tell me. If if I haven't discovered this yet, then don't tell me anything. Uh, if I find out later on in the show, then then great. So don't tell me. Please don't spoil anything. I just I'm I'm a little confused, that's all. <laughs> I, I like to I like to say questions out loud sometimes, not specifically because I'm looking for an answer, but just because it, it helps get the trains of thought out, if that makes sense. <laughs> Right, Meta, get ready. Fire! Huh, well, that actually seemed to work. Ow! <laughs> Doc, how do you feel? Uh, okay, I guess, all things considered. Hey, does anybody know where we can find a good medic? I don't get paid enough for this. Jeez, tough room. <laughs> I told you that stupid plan wouldn't work. That's because you said your name was Agent Pluto! <laughs> Luckily, we have the old contingency plan to fall back on. Sarge, shotgun to the face is not a contingency plan. I keep telling you that. Hello. This is a private facility. Hello. Whoops. This is a private facility. Don't be so quick to judge, Griff. 
shotgun in the face can be applied in a variety of tough situations. For instance, watch how quickly it cures insubordination. I know! What was that? It came from down here! Come on! I don't like this. Look, I talked to them. They're gonna draw us a map and show us where Epsilon went. After that, you can let me go. You sure that's what he's doing? Well, my alien to English is a little rusty. I wouldn't suggest we get one of those translator balls, but we got enough jerks around here already. I agree. We should just kill most of them. The last one left alive will talk. Wash, you just can't kill everybody you meet. Why not? Uh, well now you're putting me on the spot. I don't really have an answer for that. Just seems like a bad idea though. Karma? <laughs> hey, he's done drawing the map. <laughs> What does it say? She is what does it say? It says peace talks have broken down. Now we do it our way. Oh. Whoa! Just hold still. No, no, no. I sense things are not going well. Yes, please just keep the door shut. Thank you, that's fine. I am sorry, but if the director requests the door to be opened, I am required to comply. Just keep the door shut. Caboose, is that you? Stop! Don't move! Don't move! Don't move! Oh! Oh, hello, everyone! Uh -oh. Yes! Everyone who wasn't here before is now here now! Hello! What are you up to, Blue? Me? Oh, nothing! I'm not hiding anything behind this door! Uh, I would pick that up, it looks like right there! Uh, I think he's lying. What was your first clue? Let us see what's in there! In here? Oh, nothing is in here. Um, but this probably isn't even a door, either! It's probably... <laughs> What the heck was that? Oh, that was me. Uh, I said this isn't a door. I said it's a gong. A gong? <laughs> what the hell is a... A oh, gong. <laughs> I'm just going to walk over this way now. Excuse me. Yes, thank you. Pardon me. Coming through. Yes, excuse me. Yes, pardon me. Excuse me. Yes, thank you. Pardon me, coming through. Yes, excuse me. Yes, pardon me. Um, Sarge? What's the plan here? Ben, we have a perfect ambush scenario. I agree. Unless, wait. Are we the ambushers or the ambushies? Hey, can you ambush something that's trying to beat its way through metal plating to get to you? Okay! First, we just wait for the door to open. The big bad text is back. Way to make an entrance, am I right? <laughs> and now we move on to my favorite episode of the entire show that I've watched so far. So, you guys ready? Are you guys excited for this one? Because I am. Get your popcorn. It's about to get intense. Alarm! Security breach. Level alpha. All personnel report for duty. This is not a drill. Run! Oh crap! Where is she? Jesus, we have to help them. Help who? The Reds. Texas attacking them. We have to stop her. Stop Agent Texas? Oh no, absolutely not. We should never interfere with an ongoing battlefield simulation test. Our job is to observe and document. But you'll kill them. Oh, that would be wonderful. What a successful test. <laughs> we need to keep moving, man. Come on, double time. Hell, I'd settle for single time. Maybe we should just fight. I'm afraid she's gonna start picking us off one by one! Oh man, forget this! I need to get a bigger weapon! Caboose, help us! No! That computer won't let me! She's mean! This place is filled with mean ladies! Push some buttons, I don't know! Buttons? Oh man, I love buttons! Wow! That actually worked perfectly! Thanks! Great! How the heck did I do that? <laughs> hey, Simmons!
demons! What the hell is going on in there? You gotta help us! Do you know how to use that thing? My sword? Fuck yeah, I know how to use it. What's to understand about swish swish stab? It's a fucking sword, dude. It's not a fighter jet. Just come help me. <laughs>
don't you just kill me? <laughs> hey, Tex! How about you pick on somebody your own size? I will never not love that episode. I love it so much. <laughs> The whole fight sequence, the animation is just, it, it's so well coordinated, I, I love it. I really love it. Poor Griff though. <laughs> His balls got so much abuse. <laughs> strategy. Rest in peace. Doc, where are you? Here! Still alive. I thought maybe you'd been killed in the battle. No, don't worry. I'm still alive. I didn't say I was worried. Get down here. See if any of these things are still breathing. Me? You're a medic. Get medical. I'm a human medic. I don't even understand alien physiology. I want you to see if they're alive. I, I don't want you to check their cholesterol levels. Just get down here. Jeez, fine. What's with the anger? Meta, you search the camp. See if you can find anything useful for us. Any clues where Epsilon went. Don't start with me. I've already reached my tolerance level for management issues. He's getting fussy. Tell me about it. Hey, we should take a break. Excuse me? A break? Yeah, like a three-day leave. Everyone go off, recharge their mental batteries, come back refreshed and, like, ready to tackle our challenges. You want a vacation? I call it a soul sabbatical. What are we, mailmen? This is a military mission. We don't get a vacation. We don't take sick days. We don't get paid overtime. What? Freelancers don't get overtime? That's right. We have a job to do and we're expected to stick with... Wait. Why? Do you? Get overtime? Yeah. Time and a half over 40 hours. Time and a half and a half after 60. Really? You guys don't get that? That's crazy. You work so hard. Tell me about it. You guys should strike. We're not unionizing. Stop instigating. Tell me they at least match your 401k. Shut up. 
What was that? Quiet. That was what aggressive. What did you find, Meta? Hey, watch it. Meta, come out here now. Doc, get in there and see what he found. Which doc? Is there another doc here? I know you're not talking to me. Yeah, you know, probably better if you go in. Historically, I don't really have the best success rate going in caves. They tend not to work out for me. Before your time, but trust me. I, I, you don't want any part of that. What happened? Where am I? Safety protocols were initiated. Please remain calm. Sheila, is that you? Yes. What is this place? Your operator has been injured or incapacitated, and you are now in recovery mode. You will remain in this state until such time as you can be extracted by a recovery agent or your operator regains consciousness. Wait, you didn't send a recovery beacon, did you? Because that would be really... Recovery beacons only arm once a unit leaves the facility. This unit has yet to leave the facility. Therefore, we must first... Yeah, yeah, I got it. Is that text? Affirmative. Technically, she is not present in this environment, but if you would like to speak to her, I can relay communication through external channels. Yes, please. I am sorry, but she has refused the connection. She should not be able to do that. Yeah, that's not surprising. Can you force it through? I can try, but I would not recommend that action. Because of my damager? No, I have just learned that when a woman wants to be alone, it is best to leave her alone. Yeah, good call. Hey, get me out of this, but, uh, leave her in here until I figure out what to do with her. Suit yourself. Uh, she didn't hear that, did she? Unclear. I thought you weren't relaying my messages. Recovery mode disabled. You women always stick together. Oh man, I hope she didn't hear that. Are you going in or not? Oh, do I have a choice? Then not. I'm gonna go with that one. Meta, get out here. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna stick with not. That seemed like the best one of those two choices that you gave me. Get in there. Tell you what, put me back in the wall. I like the wall. It was cozy and it protected me. I miss my wall. You are utterly useless. I know we brought you along for a reason, but for the life of me, I can't remember what it is. The important thing is we're becoming friends. They say the bonds of men in combat are as strong as brotherhood. Meta, get out here. Please. Boy, he sounds tense. Maybe you should give him a back rub. That wouldn't be weird, right? One freelancer giving another a back rub? Aren't you trained in stress management or something? Calm him down! That only works if the person wants to be calm. I don't think he qualifies. Listen, Meta. Whatever you found, we can deal with it. I promise. Just come out here and show me what it is. Whoa! That's funky butt-loving! Oh. oh. You found... that. Oh, God! That uh -oh. sucked! What was all that glowing shit? Sheila put us in lockdown to save us. She knocked us out to help us? That makes sense. Hey, at least we're not getting our asses kicked, okay? That's an improvement. Yeah, that's a good point. Can't argue with results. <laughs> Sheila, can they, uh, can they hear me? Affirmative. Detected! We heard her dipshit! I know! I just want to use the microphone! <laughs> it makes me sound super loud! I am not sure you can tell! Hey, where'd you get the new body? Long story, dude. I'll tell you later. Man, eh, I know I asked, but I don't really give a shit, Church. Attention, freelancer shoppers! We have a special on some machine guns and I'll sell it! Sheila, please mute him. <laughs> this is Michael Jacobo's son! <laughs> ah, man! That's cute. Sergeant, where are we? Man, I have bad news for all of us. We're dead. Which in the case of Griff is good news for me, but still, bad news overall. Dead? I can't be dead. I still have so much to do. Uh, like what? Like, everything that doesn't involve a computer. Man, it's been a real one-track life for me. So this is the afterlife, huh? Not bad. It's kind of grainy. Overall, I can't complain. This is just a stage before we move on. Like purgatory. Ooh, or like the last episode of Lost. Hey, I haven't seen that yet. No spoilers! <laughs> that show was on hundreds of years ago! No, 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 no! Don't say anything else! Give me a break! Well, now I'm going to sleep. See you losers in 14 hours. Griff! No napping! Sorry, Sarge, but you always said I could sleep when I was dead. Hey, guess what? I am dead. So this purgatory is about to become Purgasnory. Yawn. Griff! 
Nice talking to you. Yeah, see ya. What did she say? Okay. I think we got it all worked out. She cool? As cool as she ever was. That does not inspire confidence in me. Nope. Wake her up, Sheila. Affirmative. Back up, back up. Ending recovery mode. All here. <sighs> uh... How are you feeling? Ow! Better now. What the fuck? Oh, right. <sighs> I forgot to mention one thing. I am going to end it here. I believe we have seven episodes left until we finish this season, so... As per usual, one more React episode and, and we'll be done. So, hooray. And then season 9, and then season 10, that I haven't watched. <laughs> and hopefully we'll get to that point where we catch up completely. And then I'll be able to start watching these episodes as they come out, whenever season 18 decides to show its face. But let's hope that I catch up in time to see that happen, because that'd be, that'd be cool to be able to watch an episode as they come out. But I hope you guys have been enjoying the show so far and have enjoyed this React episode. Did you guys like the, the animation in episode 10? Was it great? Was it awesome? Of course it was. <laughs> I know it just so happens to be probably the most popular episode from the whole show, but there's there's obviously reason for that. You know, the the animation is is amazing. Uh, I, I love all the jokes in it here and there in the episode. Just the whole thing overall is really good and really well coordinated. And I mean that I guess that makes sense as to why it is probably the the most popular episode out of the entire show. So. There's that. I'm assuming it's going to be explained why there was that one um, locked thing that had text in and why there were a bajillion churches just lying around. I'm sure that's going to get explained, I think. So again, don't tell me anything if it does get explained because yeah, I just don't want anything spoiled. But yeah, I'm just I'm a bit curious as to why that that's all there. Why there are so many different churches, well, church shells, and that one text just lying around. <laughs> Bit confusing, but uh, I'm sure it'll get explained. This stuff tends to always get explained anyway, so I just need to keep watching, and I'm sure my questions will be answered. Big shout out to Niall for being an awesome patron. Thank you so, so much for your support. It really helps me and the channel out a lot. And if you guys would also like to help me and the channel, then don't forget to check the patron link in the description. If you enjoyed this episode, nuke that like button. And if you haven't already, then make sure you subscribe to the channel to see more content like this. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you all in the next one. Stay rad, my friends. <laughs>